Welcome back, guys, to Super Paper Mario's the Meow Bombs have raised down. And I'm already taking damage, in fact. Go away, Meow Bombs, go away. Oh, more Meow Bombs incoming. They never stop, and they seem to be proximity sensing time bombs. Where on earth is this guy? He keeps putting flashes on me. It's Francis versus Francis, of course, but still. Oh, I want I can even do any damage to him. Do I have to throw these bombs back in, maybe? Oh no, I can do straight damage to you, which means that surely someone else would be better like Bowser. Oh, he just tried to get me with his tongue or something then? I know what's better, standing still moving. You can hear him moving about if we stand still. Instantly did four damage, Peach is taking it to him. Ah! Why did he, what the? Okay, we got out of that quite fast, but why on earth did you swallow Peach in the first place, guy? He is pretty disgusting as a whole, to be honest. Uh, try to get me again with tongue. Feels like I keep moving him around. Oh, he's just appearing. Oh, we got to him just in time. He didn't even get to flash me. I was thinking, is there some way to track him or something? Ooh, just dodged you, didn't I, sir? But there is indeed. In a 3D world, he doesn't just disappear. He leaves a shadow. Surely yet again, Bowser would be the best. Oh, no! Eating Mario as well, how dare you? And a bomb's right in front of us, right. We've all said and done. Surely Bowser would be the best option to fight a boss with. Is he gonna end up eating all three of our heroes? I would have done eight damage, I think. Yep, fire. Oh, eight damage fireball from range. Didn't even have to get close from the end. Oh! And now he swallows us all up. How did he manage to swallow Bowser, if you know what I mean? Taking an extra one damage from my stupidity there. Take the fireball! Yeah! Francis is down for the count already! Bowser's amplified damage. Where are you going, sir? Just escaping! Mercy! As we have saved Tippy. Mario, you guys came to save me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. I'm so happy. What is that? A pure heart? But how? It's like Tippy's heart just burst with happiness and released a pure heart, or... Mario, I was just so happy when I saw that you'd come to save me. Please, take it. We will indeed. For another pure heart has been gained at the very start of this episode, a boss fight as well. Using all three of my characters. Peach to start it off, Mario to learn how to track it, and then Bowser to finish the job. This crazy high damage amounts. Fourth pure heart appeared in a dazzling flash of mysterious light. What made it appear? The group was puzzled by this and many other riddles. So, you're not hurt? asked Tippy, full of concern. Somehow, Tippy seemed different than before. She'd started to change. Mario simply shook his head and started the long journey back to Flipside. Do you want to save? No, because we've only just started. Let's get going with even more story. Now, what's going to take place next? It seems we're over to the Minions of Darkness and Count Black. And that is how the ruffians managed to best me. <laughs> they are strong to be sure, very strong. Dare I say, they might be strong enough to defy the prophecy. Spare Count Black your theatrics. The light prognosticus is false. The dark prognosticus holds the answer to eliminating heroes and tries to stop us. Oh my, that's the first time that morsel of information has touched my ears. Do tell. <laughs> 
In due time, Menjo. In due time. Oh, Nastasia. It's time we set him on these pests. Yeah, I can take care of that for you, Count. Lovely, exclaimed Count Black. Return to your post, my dear minions. As you command, Count Hell Black. And everyone makes their exits. Whatever way they can. Um, does something trouble you, Anastasia? Yeah, Count, you know, there's still time. You can still change your mind. Well, that is enough, Anastasia. We've already come this far, so we shall fall on. But you needn't stay by Count Black's side. You can depart with my blessing. Uh, no, my Count, I won't be doing that. My life is already sworn to you. Yeah, it's belonged to you since the day you saved me. I'll be sticking it out with you until my game ends, okay? If that pleases you. My, my, my! How interesting! Nastasia and the Count have such deep conversations! Can I guess who this is? None other than Dementio. Hmm, just what is that dear Count playing at? Ah, oh, well, I'll let him worry about that. I must attend to my own projects. Timpani, why? Why do you avoid me? Ow, ow! Unhand me! Huh? You're crying. Why? Timpani, you must tell me what has happened. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. Oh no, Timpani. Is my father behind this? I'm, I'm just an ordinary girl. No matter how much I love you, we must part. Timpani, I... This is goodbye, Lumiere. There's no other choice. This is our fate. And another bit of mysterious Texas Red, but we are back to flip side. That was a little weird for a while, but we seem to have gone through it, okay? I'm so sorry. It was all my fault. And then you all... Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Want to know how to thank me, Bugface? Just stay out of my way, okay? Say, come to think of it, Bowser, could you be our third hero? Oh there! I'm guessing it's Merlin, or Merlon even. I have been waiting for you, young heroes. Did you succeed in your search for the next pure heart? I guess we did. Oh. Intriguing. So then, when you save Tippy, the next pure heart just appeared? Hmm, how very interesting. I think that castle was once a dwelling of the ancients I told you of earlier. It seems that my ancestors have roamed far and wide in their dimensional travels. In the castle beyond the Great Sea, we hid a pure heart and sealed it safely. Yes, I remember reading such a passage in the Light Prognosticus. The seal could only have been broken by a powerful pulse of love and trust. So, you think it was because Tippy began to trust us that we found this pure heart? That's amazing! And now there are three heroes, ho ho! I don't know who the last one is, but waste no time in searching, my friends! Oh please, come on people, with me here you don't need anybody else, seriously! Trust me, any problem comes up, I'll stop it into next week! I'll Bowserize it! Ho ho, well met, Mr. Bowser! May your strength protect this group. Ho ho! It seems the void has expanded once more. Time is short. We have to keep going. We must start looking for the next half pillar. There are matters I must attend to as well. Have a search for any item of significance in the life prognosticus. Sure thing, guy. But what else are we doing with Bowser? Well, first things first, we're actually heading back into chapter three. To pick up a certain someone. The chapter 3 one begins right again, we won't be in it for long. Because that bush is all we need to get to if you know what I'm talking about. Hello! Woo ho now! You wanna hear some tips? Just say the word! What are you talking about? I don't need no more stupid tips, alright? No more hints? No way! You defeated Francis? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down! That's huge news! 
I'm just glad I can help with that daring mission to infiltrate the nerd lair. So, uh, I guess there's no need for me to stay here and get our tips. I guess I've done my job. I've got nothing to do now. Oh, hey, how about I tag along with you guys? Well, I've made up my mind. I'm coming along whether you want me to or not. Another pixel becomes our companion. Barry the prickly pixel has joined your group. Use Barry to create a spiky barrier around you. Barry the barrier. There's plenty of dangerous types wandering out there. Let's stick together. It'll be safer for both of us that way. Indeed it will. Our crazy Barry the barrier barrier. Most importantly right now, we need to head back. So important things. The return pipe. Bring us back to Flipside. Too sweet. So the search for the next pillar begins. Should we just jump off the edge or should we go down to Merlon see if he has a clue for us? Oh, Bowser, you're so slow. You lumbering oaf. But I love you. You're the best, Bowser. You're the best. Hopefully Merlon knows something at the very least. Otherwise, this could take quite a bit of searching. We have a warp pipe all the way back down low, but that's mainly where the Pit of 100 Trials is and stuff like that is, so that's not going to help us that much. Let's get through as much of the light prognosticants as possible. Why do you linger here still? You must hurry to the next world. I'm sure. Well, if we're going to hurry anywhere, we should change character first of all. Mario has a base speed a little higher than Bowser. We've got 8 of 25 HP. Maybe it would be a good time to just uh, have a little rest. What do you think? I wish to use the inn, dear lady. Welcome to Tinga's Inn, where you can recharge your batteries in just one night. Tell me, weary traveler, wouldn't you like to get a good night's rest? I would. Hold will amaze you, to be sure. Your aches and pains will just melt away. It's five coins at... Five coins? That's fine. Hey, hey, enjoy your stay, weary traveler. Time to go to Betty boys. And now we're full health back once more. Let's get looking. Good morning! Did you sleep well? Well, on your way then. We'll be in. Off indeed. I wonder 150,000 scores where I hit my level up. Right. Where are we going then? Opposite Merlin's door is this pathway. There definitely is one thing we can activate out here. Otherwise we'd have to go through those pipes. But, if I remember correctly... Fuddly Dudley do. We've got a job for you. Right, but... Also... The arrow's on the side, so this one's down. And that one's up. How do I bring ones up that are already down or something to see which way they're supposed to be orientated? Oh, okay, like that. Oh, that's fine. It seems that's the puzzle complete. That one was up as well. And a heart pillar for our troubles. No problem at all. Activate. Our pure heart is placed in just a matter of seconds. We bury the barrier to distract us anyway. It took a little bit longer. Another door appears. Time to see what lies behind the green door. Loving the fact that that was straight hit done and no problem whatsoever. No massive exploration needed, though I do wonder about side quests. No trouble center? What's with that? We don't have to worry about 3D time, we can just plod on up the elevator and reach our doors no problem whatsoever. Oh come on weird elevator paper! Move faster! For we wish to see what's beyond the door in a new chapter. Let chapter 4-1 begin! Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and the Mario Gang grew closer to the Mario Gang. I think it's the Bowser Gang. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned to them all. What awaited was faster and stranger than anything they'd encountered so far. 
In order to claim a pure heart, they would have to endure new fire trials. Chapter 4, 1, Into Outer Space. We go. Stars fill the sky. Though I'm a bit worried about going straight into outer space like this. Floaty time. Hmm, stars everywhere. I believe we're in outer space, almost certainly. What, 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 what? what troubles you, Mario? Ah, yes, of course. We seem to be lacking air. You need that, don't you? Yeah, yes, Tippy. Oh, oh, gracious me, what am I to do? Um, well, let me see. Um, uh, well then, well, well, what's so... No! Hey, please wake up! You're all right, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness! I don't really know how it got us all out of there. It just sort of happened. We won't last out there as we are. Perhaps we should ask Merlon's advice. Perhaps Merlon should have given us some advice earlier. But here's an interesting fact. It is possible to survive in the vacuum of space for a little tiny bit. Because of course all your oxygen is leaving your body and it's not good. Yes, death is inevitable. But there is like a small time frame where you are conscious, like 1.7 seconds or something like that. And then if you're not brought in into an oxygen oxygenated atmosphere or something within like five to seven seconds or even three seconds that's it so you can actually survive for the tiniest time tiniest time i wouldn't advise it though ho ho that was certainly quick work you've already found the next pure heart no merlon that door led us straight into outer space Space? Oh ho, oh, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise! Oh yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends could breathe. What do we do? Why does it look to me like he's got some kind of I knew troll face on? Hmm, well, if you had a space helmet, you would be alright, I imagine. Well, you need oxygen tanks and the whole suit. And you have one? Of course, I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. Yes, yeah, sure. And I just so happen to. Oh, blast it! What now? Oh, double blast it all! I cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space and I gave it to someone in town. To who? Oh, just some random boy. It seemed more convenient than recycling it. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get him back from him. Sure thing, but there's not many... Okay, random kids we've met. I'm pretty sure we've seen, like, girls like that. Though I wouldn't label her as a kid so much. That's a lady. There's... No, that's a little girl. Little ponytails, it seems. There is another child up near the first heart pillar. Try that one, and then try on our magic spacesuit, surely. The so first time we were in space, of course, we were on the moon in Thousand Year Door, but that was in Oh, there we go, and it's a goldfish bowl. But yeah, that was because down to the star spirits allowing us to breathe, or something along those lines. Huh? Did Merlon give me something like a helmet? Gives me? Yes, it did. Who means this fish bowl? Yeah, I kept it. Captain Gill's here in a cup, but then he got too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got real happy when I got this fish bowl. What's with all the extra S's? Thing is, now the captain got so big, the bowl's got too small for him. Hey, I know. Maybe you could find a nice place to set Captain Gill's freeze for me. Captain deserves freedom. Then you get the fish bowl. That good, okay? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, sure. <laughs> but where can he go? I want to know so that he'll be nearby at all times. Who got to help me? All the extra S's are messing my mouth up. You can't use this yet. Find a place to release the fish. Okay, let's release the fish somewhere nice and wet and all that jazz. Where I think we've seen a little puddle along our ways during our massive exploration adventure. 
Somewhere near that warp pipe, if I'm correct in saying. Shouldn't it be down the magic warp pipe that we made for 100 coins and then up a level? Near that bar? If I'm not mistaken, it can't be far off from there. This is heading all the way down, after all. I'm glad that we made it in the end. But maybe we're too far down. Mario, switch perspective! So here's the pit of 100 trials. Up one level is exactly what? Is it where I'm thinking, next to the bar? Was there some water? Hello, guy in the swish business suit. You look crazy. Apart from that, we do find water. This looks like a good place to release the captain. Release the goldfish here, sure. Now the fishbowl is empty. That means you can use it as a space helmet. Yes, that's exactly how I wanted to use it. Now we can go to space. So let's head back to that door. Yeah. Sure. Are we not using like some kind of magical enchantment by Merlon as well? I don't think just going there would be a great idea, but it seems that's what we're doing. We're going to step through the door into space once more. So join me guys for that next episode as we engage in more Super Paper Mario. Bye bye.